My husband and I have three children. Our first child, Elliot, was born with a rare terminal disorder. She had um, PT and OT twice a week. She stayed with Mary Beth from basically the moment she was born and we came here until she passed away. We could not have raised her without the help of the therapist. Well, High Hopes is both an early childhood program. It is also a pediatric therapy clinic for children who have special needs. What would it look like if we brought all of those services together under one roof? Not too long into the, into the relationship, Tracy said, hey, I'm adopted, and it is my life's dream to adopt someday too. And I turned to a friend to get my head around that, and uh, it happened to be Bob Searcy, who's one of the founding families of High Hopes. He put my mind at ease that there are tons of great resources available, including High Hopes here in Middle Tennessee for us to be successful. When I am out in the community, especially around Franklin, it is more often than not, because of High Hopes, their child was successful, whether it was in the school or because of therapeutic services. And when you create a learning environment where you have children who are typically developing, that's 60% of our children in the school, and then you allow 40% of our children to be children who have some type of special need or a diagnosis, when you allow those children to come together, magic happens. It actually gave her probably a great expectation of how her peers should interact with her. I love it when we bring families in here for their first tour and they can, they can breathe the sigh of relief and go, I have help, I have hope here, and this place is, it just feels normal. When Elliot was four, she got a virus and passed away within 24 hours. I think the therapists actually felt just as much pain as we did. And I remember being at her funeral and um, Mary Beth, her OT, her husband, David, also made all of Elliot's braces. And I think he was crying more than we were just because it was such an impact to everyone who met her and had known her for such a long time. When she passed away, we asked people to donate to High Hopes um, because High Hopes is what helped us provide her the best life. We're a revenue generating nonprofit through tuition and insurance reimbursement. We need that development uh, support. We need that advancement support. And that's where we do rely heavily on fantastic organizations around Middle Tennessee. We are grateful for all of them. Uh, and we certainly want to be good stewards of that money that we receive. The people who were Elliot's therapists really became more like family for us, and I think everybody has that experience. When you are in a fragile place and you don't know what to do or how to help your children, and you have someone who's willing to offer you these certain skills to kind of go past that problem, it's amazing. On behalf of High Hopes, our entire organization, I want to thank ARS Rescue Rooter and City Current for their sponsorship of this event this morning, for the generous donation for the work that we do at High Hopes. We couldn't do it without organizations like this. I also wanna thank all of you in attendance this morning at this event. That certainly shows um, your support of the great work that we do at High Hopes, but also for the, for the work that so many nonprofit organizations do in Middle Tennessee.